Matthew chapter number 10, verse number 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. We can see verse number 33 is a complete opposite and inverse of verse number 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. We can see if we deny Christ before men, he would deny us before the Father. If we deny Christ before men, then Christ would deny us before the Father. You see how everything's on a scale? If we confess Christ, Christ will confess us. If we deny Christ, then Christ will deny us. God is fair and just in all of his ways, in all of his actions. And he want us to trust him. There will be hard times. There will be some testing time. You, you, you see, some people preach that when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, you would never ever go through anything. Then, on the other end of the spectrum, some people preach, if you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, you will always go through something. And the Bible gives us to know that there's a balance. You will, we will as believers, have our fate tried and tested. But God is faithful and sure. But what he wants us to do is during our trials, during our testing, during that moment, don't deny him. When your back is against a wall and it looks like everything's about to cave in, don't deny God. Don't act like you don't know anything about him. He wants you to love him in spite of. Don't act like he's an outcast. Don't act like he's diseased or something is wrong with him. Like he has a contagious plague. And if you just be quiet about him, then he will go away. He wants you to acknowledge him. In the good and in the bad. Because if you acknowledge him in the bad, then that more than likely serve as a witnessing tool to whomever you're dealing with. And God just may, just might draw them in as well. He told Apostle Paul, Thou would testify before kings. That was Paul's opportunity to witness the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. God wants everyone to come to repentance. God, we bless you and we give you glory and we give you honor. Help us not to deny you, but help us to be strong no matter what we are going through. Thank God.